गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑन द टॉपिक यू कैरियोटिक्स यस्टर्डे आई वॉज एक्सप्लेन अबाउट प्रो कैरियोटिक्स नाउ लेट एस सी दैट वॉट इज यू कैरियोटिक्स एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ दिस कैंड एंड आई वॉज इन प्रीवियस क्लास टेल यू दैट द यू कैरियोटिक टर्म इज ऑल्सो टेकन फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड यू विच मीन्स गुड आर वेल एंड कैरियन मीन्स न्यूक्लियस इट मीन्स द यू कैरियोटिक सेल्स are the kind of cells that contains well developed type of nucleus in such cells nuclear membrane are present that's why the nucleic material it means nucleoplasm and cytoplasm both are separated together now again we define the eukaryotic cell as the kind of cell which is found in higher category of organism either unicellular or multicellular for example amoeba is a eukaryotic cell but unicellular likewise other all kinds of animals except protozoans have more than one cells eukaryotic cells have the most differentiating characteristics is presence of nuclear membrane or you can say that nuclear envelope it is double membranous structure in which all the nucleic materials are bounded by this envelope and this makes the differentiation between the prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell it means the presence of nuclear membrane made the main difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell beside the well developed cell organelles are also present in eukaryotic cell such as mitochondria golgi body hectius ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum lysosome spherosome vac vacuoles are spherosomes in animals vacuoles in plants like many more organs are present which will be discuss diagrammatically in today's class now the question will be arises what kind of organism containing eukaryotic cell the eukaryotic cells are generally found in as i told you higher category of animals and plants then when the when we study topic eukaryotic cell then we have to study a comparative and diagrammatic study of plant and animal cell now at first we taken the example as example of eukaryotic cell as all plants and animals of higher categories of higher categories take a diagrammatic representation of plants
This is the inner membrane. Plasma is smarter. We are present in between three layer membrane. From the plant to cell wall. This is the middle level. I will draw here completely. The middle membrane or middle lamina. Triangular junction that is present and helps in interconnecting these three layers of the cell wall. This is semi permeable double membranes. The structure of Nucleus also known as nuclear membrane. From the outer layer of nuclear membrane, this finger like projection will be originated. Also known as endoplasmic reticulum. In the center of nucleus, one or more dense consists of complex nucleic proteins. A spherical structure is present that is called nucleus. These are the chromatin threads of U chromatin type, and this intermingled or you can say that criss cross shaped chromatin threads are known as heterochromatin. The dotted representation inside the nuclear envelope. Indicate the presence of nucleopar inside the nucleus. The most peculiar feature of a plant cell is presence of cell vacuum. It is in large cell water containing vacuum which closely present. Near the near the nucleus, and these are the actinous type of ribosome particles. Mitochondria, lysosome, microfilaments. Microtubuli and another most uh, differentiating characteristics between the plant and animal cell is presence of chloroplast. This is the chloroplast which is present in only plant cell and these dotted structures represent the cytoplasm
which is completely bounded by the inner membrane of the cell. It is scattered and covered the whole spaces present inside the inner membrane. Also known as inner membrane is also known as cytoplasmic membrane and uh, the fruit contain that's why called cytoplasm. Now I will label this diagram to represent the cell arrangements one by one. Plasma discnota. Outer membrane. Middle membrane. <coughs> also known as middle membrane. And inner membrane. These all three membranes unite to card cell wall, and this is the very peculiar feature of the plant cell, the presence of cell. It is most differentiating characteristics of the plant cell. Plasma desmata, it is a pore like structure through which the passage of material takes place between one cell to another cell. This is a cut section of a single plant cell. These cut sections represent here is also a plant cell. Here is another and this is another, there is another and here is another cell. Then the passage of material from one cell to another cell takes place through plasma desmata. Its more, most important function is exchange of material through one cell to another cell. Now the next, this is cell vacuum, it is another peculiar feature of the plant cell because a large cell vacuum is only present into the plant cell. This vacuum contains H2O, it means water plus a very important pigment known as anthocyanin anthocyanin this pigment provides purple color to the various part of the plant such as leaf peel of some kind of fruits petals of the flowers like many more parts provides the presence of purple color is due to presence of anthocyanin pigment into the cell vacuum. This is lysosome. Lysosome containing thousands of about thousands of enzymes that's why it is known as an enzyme lytic or porphyrin lytic vesicle and uh, during the encounter of any kind of microbes or infectional diseases if the lysosome 
come carry on its lytic phase it means its degeneration phase then the whole cell become died when he poured whole amount of enzymes of different kinds into the cytoplasm and thus the cell get dead that's why lysosome is also known as suicidal bag of the cell it means lysosome ko koshika ki aatmahatya bhi thaili kaha jata hai now the further cell organelles of eukaryotic plant cell the presence of ribosome particles on the surfaces of nuclear envelope as well as as well as on endoplasmic reticulum membranes this makes the endoplasmic reticulum into two different categories rer and ser endoplasmic reticulum nuclear envelope nucleoplasm the fluid content present inside the nucleus is nucleoplasm this dense spherical structure is nucleolus and these are chromatin threads present inside the nuclear envelope thus this makes nucleus a complete nucleus are you can illustrate it as nucleus this is most peculiar feature of plant cell chloroplast also known as kitchen house of the cell mitochondria power house of the cell ats ribosomes ribosomes are regarded as protein factory of the cell micro tubules micro filaments as the both structure also found in prokaryotic cell thus this is a typical plant cell structure of a typical plant cell beside it one another structure is also present into the plant cell that is called plasma desmata what plasma desmata and in animal cell this structure is known as tractic golgi body or tractic pulley of the cell thanks students for joining today's class